Hi there, students. Slew can be a countable noun, a slew. It can be a verb to slew. Or it can be the past participle of the irregular verb to slay. Now, there are various meanings, but I'm going to start with the American one, which is quite simple. A slew of, a large number of, a large quantity of. There are a slew of unpaid bills on my desk. The slew of questions in the exam made it difficult to finish on time. I have a whole slew of things to do today. So a large number, a big range, lots of them, millions of them. OK, now to slew, to skid and turn at the same time. The driver lost control of the vehicle and slewed across the road. The car slewed round the corner. OK, so it's skidding and twisting at the same time. You've lost control. You can also use to slew in for a similar way, in a similar way, meaning to twist or revolve on an axis to twist, but normally either rapidly and awkwardly, or there is at least the nuance of rapid and awkward in this turning on an axis. The arm of the crane slewed round and picked up another load. He slewed round and looked at me, so to turn round. And then slew can also be the past tense of the verb to slay. To slay means to kill. So Cain slew Abel. Slay, slew, slain. Mark Chapman slew John Lennon. The authorities slew the cows because they had BSE, mad cow disease. Notice finally, a slew can also be a marsh or a boggy place, but this is pretty unusual. The meanings I've given you before, these are the common meanings. So, a slew, a large number, a slew of complaints. This is quite informal. I'd probably give it 3.5 to 4. And remember, it's American. You might hear a Brit use it, but most commonly in the US. To slew, to skid and to turn out of control. The ske the sorry, the sledge um slewed into a brick wall. Um the plane slewed sideways on the runway when it was landing and nearly overturned. So I think this to slew is probably neutral formality of five. So it's flexible. You could use it informally and in a very formal document. And then to slew here is a regular verb. The plane slewed sideways. The car has slewed round and round the corner. And then finally, slew, the past tense of slay, slay, slew, slain. Beowulf slew the Grendel. St. George slew the dragon. But notice this me meaning to slay, this is high formality, 7.5 formality. It sounds biblical and a little old fashioned. More informally, to kill. Now, what about the origins of these? Well, a whole slew of, a large number of, comes from Irish. Slua, meaning a crowd. And that, in turn, uh, comes from Proto-Celtic, slugos, a troop or an army of people. The twist-skid meaning um, I can't find an origin for it. Maybe you can. So if you can, 
post it in the comments section. And then this verb to slay, slew, slain, there's an old English word slayan, meaning to kill. So, a slew of, a large number of, to slew, to skid and twist sideways. Um, the hero slew the ravening beast. So there you go. Um, actually, one other thing as well. You can use this verb to slay informally, meaning to make somebody laugh. So his jokes slew me. They slay me. They kill me. They're killingly funny. It's another way of using slew. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Slew.